Sebastian Kane is a genius scientist, but he is wiristic and often peeks at girls, but he can't satisfy his desires. Sebastian Kane is studying invisible technology. He is developing a technology that can make the human body invisible. He first conducted experiments on animals and only those animals can be seen by wearing infrared thermal imaging glasses. Finally, he developed a visible potion, so he quickly carried out in vivo experiments. The subject is a gorilla, which has been invisible. After the injection of the visualization agent, the blood vessels of the gorilla began to show up, followed by the bones, internal organs, and muscles. Although the process was thrilling, but with the efforts of colleagues, the gorilla finally appeared completely. But he didn't intend to report the success of the experiment to the leader. He wanted to conduct human experiments directly, and even crazier, he planned to do experiments on his own. But in fact, deep in his heart, he has always hidden a lot of evil thoughts, dominated by terrifying desires. On the second day, Sebastian Kane lay on the operating table and injected himself with invisible potions. He slowly disappeared from the operating table. He successfully became the first transparent person in the world. Sebastian Kayam's invisible state needs to be maintained for three days. At first, the colleagues found it very interesting to face him who was invisible. But soon everyone felt the fear of being controlled by a transparent person. That night, the female assistant on duty fell asleep in the... He touched the female assistant's hair, and then kept touching her with his hands. The female assistant woke up from her dream, just in time to see Sebastian Kane just getting back to bed. Other female colleagues were constantly molested. Three days passed quickly. When the assistant injected him with the visualization agent, it was discovered that Sebastian Kane did not succeed in visualization and even almost lost his life. So colleagues made a skin mold for him. Although it looks ugly, it finally has a human form. Sebastian Kane, who was detained in the laboratory, became more and more irritable. One night, he especially wanted to go out for a walk, and the colleagues on duty couldn't stop him. When he came home and saw himself in the mirror, he suddenly had an evil thought. He broke into the beautiful room that had just taken a shower and hugged him. Live her constant molestation. Back in the laboratory, Linda Mackay was very dissatisfied with his behavior of leaving the laboratory privately. Warn him that if he goes out again, he will report to the leader. Sebastian Kane continued to be locked up in the laboratory, and he told his colleagues with a wry face that how wonderful the affair he had just gone out was so beautiful. He lay on the bed and continued thinking about the bad idea, and turned his head to find the thermal camera on the monitor. Afterwards, he adapted the monitor's program code, and let the monitor loop to play the scenes of him a bit so that he could escape to heaven. Linda Mackay always felt that Sebastian Kane had escaped from the laboratory again, and did not find Sebastian Kane in her own home. But she believed her instinct, and decided to drive to the laboratory. The thermal camera showed that Sebastian Kane was still in the laboratory, but she soon discovered that the monitor program had been adapted. Linda Mackay decided to call the leader to report. Sebastian Kane sneaked into the leader's house. He saw a table at the door and decided to enter the leader's house from the backyard swimming pool. Killed the leader with the help of the invisible body. The next day, Linda Mackay received the news that the leader had been killed. She decided to report to the military, but she found that the communication equipment and security equipment were cut off, and everyone was trapped in the laboratory, and soon a colleague was killed. Sebastian Kane became completely out of control. He had turned from a scientific genius into a murderous demon. Two colleagues were killed afterwards. Finally, Sebastian Kane locked Linda Mackay and her boyfriend in the freezer, preparing to freeze them to death. As a result, Linda Mackay escaped from the freezer and burned Sebastian Kane with a flamethrower. He caught fire all over, and he quickly took off the silicone holster. Linda Mackay activated the sprinkler system with fire. With the help of water, Sebastian Kane appeared again, and they wrestled together. At this time, the boyfriend who woke up from the freezer rushed to the scene. 
He hit Sebastian Kane on the head with a stick and finally knocked him down. Sebastian Kane accidentally hit the switch. The current passed through Sebastian Kane's body, knocking him to the ground. Linda Mackay managed to escape, and they became a sea of flames.